Hi there! If you're not familiar with a bar graph, it's simply a graph with categories on the horizontal or x-axis and values on the vertical or y-axis. A bar is then drawn for each category to represent the value that is related to each category. Bar graphs can also be drawn with the categories on the y-axis and values on the x-axis, but this will be covered in a later video. For now, we will be focusing on the standard vertical type of bar graph that you see here. Now to create a bar graph in Google Sheets, you need two things. First, you need a list of categories, and second, you need a list of values that relate to each category. Once you have these two main pieces of information, you are ready to create your bar graph. To create the bar graph, start by selecting all of the cells that contain the data. With these cells selected, click on the Insert tab in the Google Sheets toolbar, and then click on Chart. Google Sheets will try and guess what graph you are creating, but it doesn't always get it right. In this case, it created a pie graph, which is not quite what we want. To change this to a bar graph, select the chart, and then click on the three little dots in the top right hand corner and select Edit Chart. The Chart Editor panel will open up on the right side of your Google Sheets spreadsheet. Now, under where it says Chart Type, change the type to Column Chart. Okay, awesome! Now that we have our bar chart, we can start making a few changes. In the chart editor, if you click on customize, you can change all the basic visual aspects of your bar graph. I'll walk you through a few. To edit the title, click on the chart and axis titles. You can then change the title to something else. And you can also center the title, bold it, and even change its size. Now if you want to edit or get rid of the axis titles, you can change where it says chart title to horizontal axis title or vertical axis title. To get rid of the chart grid lines, you can click on grid lines and ticks, select vertical axis, and uncheck where it says major grid lines. Another way that you can make edits to your chart is by selecting the chart element you want to change. For instance, let's say I want to change the color of the bars. I would click on one of the bars and the chart editor will automatically navigate to the page where you can edit the look of the bars. Under Fill Color, I can simply change the color to the one I want and it's applied to the bar graph right away. Now what happens if you try to create a bar graph by listing the categories and values horizontally instead of vertically? Believe it or not, you will still be able to create the bar graph by following the same steps as before. It does not matter whether your values or categories are listed in columns or listed in rows. It works the same way, both ways. And that's how you can create a simple bar graph in Google Sheets. If you have any other questions or would like to see more videos like this one, be sure to comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. You can also visit us at SpreadsheetLife.com for more useful content and over 100 templates that you can download for free. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next Spreadsheet Life video.